Hi, my name is Danny Zeman, and you're about to watch a lesson through my new video course, The Rhythm Workshop, available exclusively through Discover Double Bass. You can follow the link below to find out more information about it. It's easy to think about odd meters as either being in 5 or 7 or 11 or some crazy metric math modulation that can be hard to conceive of. Um, the easiest place to look at for learning odd meters is actually starting in 3-4. An odd meter is basically anything that's not in duple or anything that's not divisible by 4. So 3-4 and getting comfortable playing different rhythmic ideas in 3-4 is probably the easiest way to jive, dive into odd meters and get started. We're going to play Someday My Prince Will Come and if you have the uh, trio course that I, that I made with the same group, we touch on some of the ideas in 3-4, some of the rhythmic ideas. So some of this may be overlap or review for you. Um, when we do this, the, the easiest way to think about playing in 3-4 is to think about either playing totally even divisions of the bar line, so dotted quarter notes, or playing some type of variation like two beats plus one beat, or one beat plus two beats, or as one of my old college professors said, uh, you can use the go park the car rhythm, which is go park the car, go park the car, go park the car. Um, if you live in Central Europe, you don't need to have a car, so don't worry about that. Uh, so any of these rhythms, again, thinking about dividing the bar line evenly or not so evenly, will form the foundation for playing in 3-4. We're going to play Someday My Prince Will Come. We're just going to do a version with a, uh, one or two choruses of me playing some accompaniment through it, just to give you an idea of how you can still mark these clearly and change up, again, whether you're playing vertical rhythm that's very downbeat oriented or hiding the bar lines. Um, again, just mixing all of these ideas. One, two, three, two, two, three. In this instance, I tried to, again, break up the rhythm, doing the dotted quarter notes, the syncopations. Something like that can be a very strong rhythm, so I use it sparingly, um, or unless I really want to mark the rhythm uh, or the part of the form that I'm in. Um, again, just getting used to not playing the downbeats and breaking up the rhythm and trying to play even groupings of things or uneven groupings of things. Again, will form the foundation of how we deal with odd meters. In this next video, we're going to touch on playing in 5-4, which is going to be a mix of duple the 2-4 plus a mix of the 3-4. So again, thinking about 3-4 as a foundation will make all of the other odd meters that you deal with a lot easier.